People have enjoyed the book, The Ancient One, for now 25 years. In advance of this new edition, I'd like to reveal for the first time how the story was inspired. I was hiking in California in an ancient grove of redwoods. I decided I'd like to spend the night. So I did. I leaned up against a particularly old, gnarled redwood tree, and I stayed there all night long. By the time the first rosy rays of dawn touched those upper branches, I felt like that tree was a friend, and I wished I could ask it what it had seen in its long, wonderful life. That question actually led me to write the story, The Ancient One. This story is centered on Kate, a brave teenage girl. Her town in Oregon is in turmoil, partly because in a remote crater near the town, a lost grove of redwood trees has been discovered. But this is not only about the fate of those trees, it's about the fate of that town. They're intertwined and they're actually connected, which Kate discovers as she enters into the crater, explores it, and discovers the oldest tree in the grove is not just a tree, it's a time tunnel. And it was called the Ancient One. When she travels back in time, she has a great adventure. She actually solves the mystery of what happened to a lost tribe of Native Americans who had mysteriously disappeared. She learns something very important and then is ready to travel home. The trouble is that even then in the present time, there are people who have followed her into the crater and are about to cut down the ancient tree. If that happens before Kate gets all the way home, her quest will be lost, everything she's done will be destroyed, so there's a race to the finish. My greatest hope is for just an instant you could feel the adventure of Kate's experience, and maybe also that you could glimpse just a hint of the magic of an ancient redwood tree. Enjoy the ancient one.